Now let us consider those weapons in the division which have a high angle of fire and a curved trajectory. In other words, the mortars and howitzers. Because of their high angle of fire, mortars and howitzers can reach into hostile trenches and emplacements and engage targets on reverse slopes which cannot be reached by flat trajectory weapons. The sequence of sounds heard by a soldier under fire from a mortar or howitzer differs from the sequence he hears when under fire from a flat trajectory weapon. When a mortar or howitzer is fired, the soldier first hears the sound of the projectile as it moves toward him. Next, he hears the report of discharge of the piece and finally, he hears the strike and burst of the projectile. Now let us look at some of these weapons and listen to their fire. Here is a 60 millimeter mortar. It is a smooth bore, muzzle loading, high angle weapon. The three pound shell it fires has a low muzzle velocity and a highly curved trajectory. The maximum range of the 60 millimeter mortar is a little more than a mile, but ordinarily it finds its greatest usefulness at ranges up to 1,000 yards. The mortar can be fired at the rate of 18 rounds per minute for long periods. The maximum rate of fire for short periods is about 35 rounds a minute. The report of discharge of a mortar is distinctive. It sounds like a cough. Listen to it. To the soldier under fire, the sound of the 60 millimeter mortar shell passing overhead is usually very faint. Ordinarily, he only hears it as it nears his position. Now listen to the sound of the shell as it bursts upon impact. Its bursting radius is about 17 yards, but fragments travel much farther. 